In this video, we're going to talk about terms of an algebraic expression. Terms of an algebraic expression. And, oops, I think I'm having some pin troubles here, so just bear with me. Uh, terms of an algebraic expression. And rather than give uh, formal definitions for a lot of these words, I think we'll just mostly give some examples and you'll be able to figure out what we're talking about. So constants, what do constants, ooh, there's that pen problem again. What do constants look like? Let's just give some example of constants, I think you can tell what they are and you've probably already seen a bunch. 5, that's a constant. 1 third, that's another constant. Uh, negative 3, constant pi is a constant as is 27 hundredths. Notice they're just all numbers, just single numbers. That's all a constant is. Variables, What's a variable? I think we've defined that in another video, but let me just give some examples. A, X, Y, T. These are all variables and they're just they're just letters that represent numbers or a single number. So we've had constants, we've had num uh, variables, now let's, oops, there's the pen misbehaving again. Let's talk about algebraic expressions and give an example or two or three of what an algebraic expression looks like. Okay, the first example is just, I'll just put down a single variable x, that is an algebraic expression. We can make it more complicated. 2x, 2x plus 5, that's another algebraic expression. Notice that there's some multiplication and addition going on. In this case, 3y minus 4x, for our next example, plus 6. 3y minus 4x plus 6, another algebraic expression. Negative y plus 7, a fourth algebraic expression. So those are examples of algebraic expressions. You see variables in there, constants in there, operations in there. Let's now finally talk about terms and terms of an algebraic expression. Each of these algebraic expre expression has a term. In the first one, there's just a single term, x. In the second expression, there's actually two terms, 2x and 5. In the third expression that we have up here, we have three terms, 3y minus 4x and 6 are all terms of that third algebraic expression. And in the last one we have a negative y and 7 are terms of that fourth expression. Now let's talk about coefficients of the variable terms. We have two types of terms, constant terms and variable terms. And we now would like to talk about the numerical coefficients or the numerical coefficient of each of these. Well, only the ones with variables have coefficients. And so in the first term, the x, that is a variable. And so it has a coefficient. It's 1. 2 is the coefficient of 2x. 3 is the coefficient of 3y. Negative 4 is the coefficient of the negative 4x. The 6 doesn't have one. Negative 7 is the coefficient 
I'm sorry, negative 1 is a coefficient of the y term and 7 is a constant. It doesn't have a coefficient. So now let's categorize some of these. Here's the algebraic expression A and there's only a single term in here. One term and what is that term? It's just A. What type is it? A variable or a constant term? Well, it has a variable in it, so it must be a variable term. And let's break it apart to its variable part. The variable part is the A. And what is its coefficient? They all have coefficients. It's kind of an invisible 1. The coefficient is 1. Here's another algebraic expression. And in this case, we have two terms. So let's write term number one and term number two. The first term is the negative x. What type is it? It has a variable, so it's a variable type. And variable types have a variable, of course. And the variable in this case is x. And the coefficient here is negative one. Negative one is a coefficient. The second term is the constant 5, and we just said what it is. It's a constant, and constants don't have variables or coefficients, so we can just leave those two spaces blank. Finally, the third algebraic expression we're going to look at is 2x minus 6y minus 3. It has three terms, 1, 2, and 3. The first term is the 2x. It's the variable type. And the variable part of that term is the x. The letter x and the coefficient part is the constant number 2 is being multiplied times the x. The second term is negative 6. Negative 6y. Negative 6y. And it is also a variable type. It has the variable y in it. Still having pen problems here. So the variables y and the coefficient is the number negative 6, which is multiplied times the y. The third term is negative 3. There's no variables. It's a constant term and therefore doesn't have a variable part nor a coefficient part. And I think you get the idea of what terms of an algebraic expression are. I hope just by the examples that that helps, and we'll see you next time.